Welcome back, everybody. Well, this is kind of a two-for-one special. Two for the price of one, which is free. And you can't pass up free now, can you, right? Well, uh, I wanted to make a video for uh, Zach Evans, number two. Uh, I gave him a shout-out a few videos ago. And I hope you subscribe to his channel. Uh, he lost his phone while it was stolen. And anyways, uh, Zach Evans, number two, is his uh, new channel name. And so check him out. Well, he wanted to uh, see my 47 Chevy fleet line. And he finally found one. And it's, uh, well, it's an old school version, I guess, with uh, cool uh, five spoke mags on it. And I said that, well, I had a, a metallic red version. And, well, it turns out it's actually the street low version, but I also have another die cast manufacturer, which is uh, Motormax, and they make a 48 Chevy Fleet Lion, and they just both happen to be beautiful metallic red paint, so uh, I thought I'd show you this one first. Now, let's uh, zoom in here, and you can read the story about Jetta Toys and what they did with, uh, you know, the street low series, so you can pause that and read it. And very cool. So I love Jada Toys and their Street Low series. And it's absolutely beautiful. Well, here is the car right here. And uh, let's see, I got this other one. I'll move that out of the way because uh, you can't see it, but it was in the way. <laughs> and here it is here. This is absolutely gorgeous. Love the car. And I love the Fleet Line or the Aero Sedan, they might call it. Very cool there. So here's the back end. Now the tail lights are painted, but they're part of the chrome uh, bumper piece. And the trunk lid doesn't open, but look at that beautiful candy apple red. Well, actually metallic red. Not really candy, but candy metallic apple red. <laughs> Anyways, so very cool. And I love how they replicated all the chrome on the side. And uh, well, uh, there's chrome around the windows here. And look at that visor. You got the chrome spotlights, uh, wipers, and uh, well, this visor is actually all chrome, and then they paint the red portion on. So, very cool there. And if we move around to the side, this is the original air conditioning unit. <laughs> you know, uh, it hung outside the car. And uh, well, what you would do is uh, there would be a slot on top or a hole. Or plug or whatever where you put uh, crushed ice or ice cubes whatever and then as you drove uh, there was actually a little fan that would spin around and it would blow the cold air into your car <laughs> well uh, it's very cool low riders uh, are very cool with that feature and the great thing about low riders too is that they like to have all the options on their cars that the original factory model had and so, as you can see, uh, Jada Toys did a beautiful job of all the chrome. And uh, let's see, uh, we open the hood here. And, of course, they did all chrome engine compartment. <laughs> and the radiator is the only thing that's painted black. But very cool there, so love that. And of course, the Dayton Mar wheels. And here's the chassis. So 47 Chevrolet Aero Sedan Fleet Line. Now these tires are wider than what low riders would have, but this is Jada Toys and, uh, you know, they're going to do that. But absolutely love it. Okay, let's move the box here and then uh, we'll just put that in the background. Have a nice look at it. Absolutely cool car. No, oh, I didn't show you the interior, did I? Well, they're fairly basic, but, you know, some of them, well, uh, if you can see in there, well, through the windshield, it's supposed to have fuzzy dice. And anyway, so not much to see, <laughs> steering wheel, but still very cool. Absolutely love it. So we'll put that aside. And another brand is Motormax. Well, here's the back of the packet. So, of course, you see they make import cars, muscle cars, uh, SUVs, and cool old cars. 
I have shown that a long time ago. I've got one in brown. And of course, it's Motor Max, and this is the 48 Chevrolet Aero Sedan Fleet Line. A very cool one, 24 scale. And, uh, well, let's see. Um, I don't know if there's a copyright date on these ones. But I got these a long time ago. Uh, well, just uh, trademark, so uh, whatever. Uh, maybe that says something. <laughs> So anyways, uh, that's the box there, and uh, let's see, I paid $16.95 for this, and I've had this for over 10 years at least. Uh, the Jada Toys, uh, let's see, we'll grab the box here, and the Jada Toys is copyright 2001. So this is one of the early models that they made, and absolutely love it in the candy apple red, metallic red, you know what I mean. <laughs> And uh, I have shown some of my homie rollers, and they feature one of these. And so if you look back through my videos, uh, you'll see that. So let's look at the Motomax uh, car. This is very cool here. So another beautiful metallic red. Uh, this is probably more like candy apple red here. Absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, they don't have all the chrome replicated like uh, Jada Toys does. But they have it painted in silver. And very nice though. And this one uh, includes a license plate with the other, which the other one doesn't. There you go. So very nice. And that trunk lid doesn't open just like the Jada. But let's open the doors here. And uh, they got probably a little more detail on the dash. Oh, it was definitely more detail. <laughs> and so these are very cool. So love the car. And of course, it's got just old school wheels, baby moon hubcaps, I guess. That's what they're going for, although they look a little big. But anyways, I don't really care about that. You know, it's a cool piece. And uh, there you go, just a straight six there. So pretty nice. And so lots of cool... Uh, chrome pieces in there and here's the chassis so uh, probably a little more detailed than the Jada toys and there's that information there so pretty cool and steerable wheels Jada toys don't have steerable wheels but uh, you know as you can see you know you got big steering pieces there that aren't prototypical of the actual car but the fact that you get steerable wheels is pretty cool and <laughs> anyways so there you go that's very cool there next to uh the jaded toys and they're both 124 scale and well of course this is taller and let's see um i think okay jaded toys well now they're about the same width i thought jaded toys might be wider but they actually did a pretty nice job i don't want to alter the camera because uh, i got it level right now but so very cool stock and lowrider versions here. Gotta love them, right? Well, the second part of my video is from Vintage Car History. Uh, great channel. I gave him a shout out too just recently. And he, uh, well, he went to uh, a car museum in Rhode Island and... Uh, he said he would send me a car. He'd pick something and go back and watch that video. Just a couple of videos ago, I think. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so he sent me the box and it arrived today. And, well, uh, here it is. And it was sent, uh, let's see, priority post. Priority mail. Okay, it comes from the States, well, Ohio, where he sent it from. And uh, assembled in Canada. So this is the box of the... What? I don't know where he got the box from, but... Okay. And uh, I took out the packing slip already. So anyways, there's just some information there. Whatever. So let's uh, get my trusty knife out here. And uh, let's open this up. Oh, okay. And... Uh, Open it here. 
All right, now I've been dying to open this up. I got this uh, before lunch at work. Oh, it's still uh, it's, oh, there we go. And uh, I've been waiting all this time. So a wild build at Vintage Car History. Uh, he showed you that um, toy store in that museum, and there's lots of cool stuff and. Uh, I wanted just about everything that they had, but let's see what he's, he sent me. There's a nice bit of garbage there. More paper. All right, it's a big scale. All right, cool. Because <laughs> there were some uh, 132 scale and smaller ones. And all right, look at this. Well, here's the bottom of the box. So uh, copyright, Acura, Audi. Bugatti, Ford, GM, Humvee, Jeep, all the other ones. What did he get me? A Maestro Special Edition. All right, Corvette, cool. I love Corvettes and uh, very nice. Wow. <laughs> this is actually, looks like a old Burago casting. And uh, very cool by Maisto. And I collect a lot of the Maisto brand vehicles. Look at that. So, so cool. Okay, let's get rid of the box. Uh, let's look inside. He might have sent something else. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, there is a letter. And I'll uh, just... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, well, here we go. So there's a... Uh, Picking out a die cast for you is like picking out shoes for... <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. So, uh, okay, no uh, personal information. So, yeah, so there you go. So pause that and read it. All right, so the Newport Car Museum in Rhode Island, which is one of the museums in Audrain, in the Audrain collection. Okay. There you go. So that's pretty cool. Well, absolutely, it's suitable for my collection. Absolutely love it. Well, I'll have to do another video where I can dig out this model that I have. I think I have it in this scale. I have a bigger scale that I did show. But anyways, uh, let's open it up. I just want to take this out and show you the thing. Okay, there we go. So we'll get to have a look at it. But uh, Maisto does own the Burago brand now. And uh, they've issued the cars from Barago. And uh, yeah, this is a, a former Barago casting. And I think it's absolutely cool. Of course, you got to have a 57 Chevrolet Corvette. Well, 55 was when they had the V8. And 57 was when they had fuel injection. Well, the first type of fuel injection that uh, GM came out with. And uh, I hope this elastic isn't on too tight. I gotta take that off right away because these elastics are very nasty for the paint if you leave them on for years. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, sorry for the erratic uh, <laughs> movement of my car. Now I've done this before where you gotta be very careful Okay, it, it's broken now, so tear it apart. All right. And absolutely love this uh, 50s era seafoam green, I think you might call it. And of course, uh, well, here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so just like the original Baragos, nice chrome engine. Doors open up, and look at all the chrome features inside very cool so yes bill uh i've got well i think i've got the 118 scale and uh i don't know if i have the 124 oh yes i actually do i have a white one with red red section there so that's for another video i'll show you the comparison and very cool so anyway so that's the video <laughs> hope you enjoy it 
Thank you very much, Wild Bill at Vintage Car History. And definitely check out his channel. And Zach Evans, number two. Uh, I gave a shout out. Uh, he had 21 subscribers and, well, he's only got six right now. So if you have subscribed to Zach's channel, please uh, do it again to his new channel. And I love it. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.